Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight I'm comparing all six of these waters, and if you've been following along in the water comparison series chart, you'll know that this is round three, and we're in this section of the chart, and these are in pairs of round three videos. So I'm actually doing four videos tonight. Um, these two combine here, these two combine here, and these two combine here. So those are three videos, and then when I get to the final three, it's going to do the final round four video at the end of this video. Uh, when I started off doing the comparison chart, I normally you know, split this up into four separate videos, but it's really just a taste test comparison. So tonight I'm just going to do all four of these videos at once. I hope that makes sense. So I don't have any notes. My computer's right here. I don't have any, anything planned to say. This is really just a taste test comparison. So here we go. We're going to start off with LaCroix Spring Water and O oh, Pure New Zealand Artisan Water from New Zealand. This is from some local drugstore, and it's weird seeing this LaCroix water because I've never seen LaCroix spring water, spring and still water anywhere else. I, I spent so much time looking for water. I, I don't find this anywhere else online for sale, so it's just weird seeing this. Uh, this one is from Salacious Drinks. It's from New Zealand. It looks kind of like Fiji water, and uh, let's just open them up. You know, this is a good quality plastic. So let's open these two up and do a comparison. I just um, ate some like salty food for lunch, so I'm actually very thirsty. So I'm excited to be drinking all this water. And it's cool that we have like all still and unflavored waters because those are all my favorite. And so this is like, this is gonna be a good round, good uh, fun review. Here we go. No bad aftertaste. It's kind of like a sweeter water. It's like not tasting salty at all. This is a good one too. You know, all of these are going to be good. If they made it to round three, they're going to be, you know, pretty good. Sometimes bad waters make it to round two, but in round three, they're all usually pretty good. This looks like a Niagara or a Nestle bottle of water, but it's actually from like United Beverage Company or something like that. LaCroix has been blowing up for the, you know, the flavored sparkling version. I think that's the number one selling flavored sparkling water, but it's just really weird. Have you ever seen LaCroix spring water in this kind of bottle? Isn't that super weird? It tastes pretty good. It tastes like, um, really just like a Niagara bottle of water. With this, I think you're basically, um, getting the taste from the bottle itself. They use like a thinner plastic, but it's not terrible though. So for these two, I think that this one, the New Zealand water tastes better. I think it just comes down to the thicker plastic. Um, this has like a more of a soft taste to it. In my opinion, this one is better. So this is the first winner of the night. Next up, we have the Andes Mountains water from Chile. Cool bottle, it's like a thick, unique design with the metallic, shiny lid. And we have run, tan, natural selenium mineral water from China. This was sent to me from one of the viewers, like you, one of the people who watches the channel. And yeah. This has a unique bottle like very spirally that's a really good water it's a really smooth tasting water the Andes Mountains water is from Salacious Drinks kind of like a sweeter aftertaste to it I like the design of this bottle too like it's like a very minimalistic and it's like like a pyramid shape so it's harder to accidentally tip over when I was in college, I went on a trip to Chile, and I had a really good time. It's a cool country, very friendly people. You know, colorful buildings, colorful uh, atmosphere. Lots of, like, parties going on around the country. And um, it's a cool country, but we're going to eliminate the Andes Mountains water. I just think that going back and forth, I think this one has a smoother taste to it. And just uh, tastes cleaner. And... I don't know what else to say. I just prefer this out of the two. 
Now we have the Italian water, aqua filette. And I'm not even sure what this one's called. Is this true Alka or is this Alka true? Because I've kind of been switching back and forth and I'm not sure what this is even called. Or this is from a grocery store in Utah. And it's half gone because I only bought one of these. And this is all that I have left. So I'm kind of worried that since I've had this open for several months, I'm kind of worried that, that will affect the taste of it. But this is the only bottle I have. So... I don't know, I'm just gonna drink it anyway and hope uh, hope that it does not affect the taste of the water. The aqua filette water has this label on it, which is kind of annoying. Cause like, I cannot open this with just my fingers. I need like a knife or scissors or something. So isn't that kind of annoying? Like imagine if you're camping, and you can't get into the bottle itself with just your hands. Or it would just take, it would take a long time. Like a lot of like pinching and peeling. But it's kind of annoying just to get to the water. Yes, it's fancier. And yes, it's like protects it and seals it in more. But uh, it's kind of annoying having to remove this label every time. I'm going to fill that day. It's good quality glass. It's like a fancy bottle of wine almost. Sort of a, almost a mild uh, glass taste to it. Hmm, yeah, this is a good one. This is a lot like the New Zealand water from Trader Joe's. This is a really good one. I don't think that leaving it opened, or you know, half gone for several months has affected the taste because it still tastes as good as I remember when I was on my trip to Utah I kept like drinking this even when I was not doing the reviews and I had to like stop myself I had to be like John you have to save this for when you get back to Pittsburgh to um, do the water review because this is a good water I'm going to say that the winner is out of these two is the Alcatrue this kind of has like a glassy kind of dirtier taste to it you know I had nothing but good things to say about it in um, in this review but now going back and forth between these two this is just the clear winner the Alcatrue this one also has a high pH level 9 and 10 pH level so these are the final three for round three and I need to take a break because I need to take a picture of these three together for the chart. All right, hey everybody, I'm back. Now we're in round four of the Water Comparison Series chart. The winner is going to move on to round five. This is pretty exciting. There's only been four waters in round five. Tonight we're going to decide the fifth best water that I've ever had. Possibly the best. Maybe it'll move on to round six and seven and who knows. But uh, here we go. O Pure. New Zealand water. I think this is a cool design for a bottle. Looks like an ice cube kind of from the side. And I like that they have different labels on the inside, um, if you buy multiple of these. It's good tasting. Like, really, these waters are making it this far because of the taste. Here is the run tan water. Very good. Very smooth. Very pure. Very clean tasting. Here's the True Alka, or Alka True. I really know very little about this water because in round one I reviewed this from the grocery store parking lot of the store that I bought this from. I didn't really have time to do any research or, you know, investigation into what this water is. Between round three and four I did a quick Google search and I found out that this is mainly uh, West Coast water. It's like in 
California, and I guess Utah. Um, and you can buy this online for like $40 for a case, which is very expensive. But, nah, I was going to say, but it's a good water, but seriously though, 40 bucks is very expensive for a case of water. Okay, I'm going to eliminate the New Zealand one. I guess like a slight like plasticky taste is the best way to describe it. It's very good. It's very, very good. All three of these are very good. But I'm going to eliminate this. Just going back and forth. It's like, you know, if you're just drinking that on your on its own, you wouldn't notice anything wrong with it. But going back and forth between two waters, you can tell the difference. I actually already know the winner. The winner, drum roll, is this one, is the Alcatru water. And it's just the taste. I mean, it's a nice bonus that it has a high pH, and it's nice, it has that little handle, that's cool, um, but really it just comes down to the taste. I, I don't even, like, love the bottle, to be honest, it's not very portable, like, this wouldn't fit in a purse or in your pocket or anything like that. Um, it's just the taste. Going back and forth. If I have to decide between two bottles, so far I've always picked this one. The True Alka. And I looked at the company's website, and they also do, like, the five-gallon bottle service. I guess they probably deliver it to your house. I just briefly spent, like, a minute looking at their website. And... This is going to round five. You know, it's going to be months before I get there. I have to review all of these and all of these. I have to review like 60 more waters before I get to round five again. So, I'm probably just going to end up drinking all of this. And then either buying more of this online or flying out to California to buy more of this water for round five because it's going to be a long time I don't want to have this sitting around waiting for months and months and months so yeah here we go it's just good and pure no bad aftertaste. I really have no complaints at all about the taste. <laughs> In round five, it's going to be very tough picking a winner because we're going to have another really good one. And, and look at this. We're going to have round five and then six and then all three of these are coming together. And this is the end of the comparison chart once we, um, once we get done with these other 60. Look how many we've done. We've done like hundreds of waters. It's crazy. I didn't even know there were that many out there. But I still need to find like 60 more. So, congratulations, True Alka. You know, if you live in, in California or the West Coast, I recommend checking this out. Or have you already had this? You know, leave a comment letting me know if you've had this and what you think of it. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Goodbye.